Okie dokie, what are we starting with today? This burgundy suit. I saw it on Instagram the other day on one on a girl that went to try it in H&M and I thought, oh, I'm gonna try it too. It's supposed to be kind of like straight trousers as well as an oversized blazer. Quality wise, like fabric, it looks really nice. To be honest, it looks like very suit um, fabric. So it doesn't look cheap. It's not like shiny or like wrinkly. It seems to be a really good fabric. Let's see how it looks on. Let's start with the trousers. I'm wearing them with just like a plain white little top that normally goes really well with suits. Um, so to not complicate things, but what do we think? How do the trousers look? I think they actually look really nice. I don't know with the straight cut how it's actually going to look with shoes, but let's give them a chance. Now let's get the jacket. Oh, felt this one. Okay. I feel I feel very tiny in it. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I feel like it is. It gives me like swallowing vibes. If they were gonna make straight trousers, like long ones, they shouldn't maybe have made this jacket so oversized. It does look really nice, closed. The color is nice. I just I I think I would struggle to define what to wear it with. And obviously, I'm wearing like a white top, so like these black ballerinas are not too appropriate. But I don't think, I think I'd struggle to, to actually pair them with any like pairs of shoes. Let's see how they look with trainers. <sighs> thinking, thinking back, this might have gone better with black. I'm going to be honest, this color is more of a combined with black type of color. But, you know, it's too late now. Hmm. Not convinced. Let's see the green one, I think, because that might actually look a little bit better. It's exactly the same suit, but the color is dark green instead of dark red. Okay, I think this looks really nice like this. If you're gonna wear something oversized like this, like the whole outfit is a little bit oversized, you will have to wear heels for it to look well put together and for it actually to be like intentionally oversized but still look elegant. I think if you're looking for this kind of vibe for the office, Fabric wise is really nice and the fit looks actually nice. Let's see how the trousers look here closer by. <laughs> they look actually nice. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, we're gonna go with our last suit and it's a black one. It's a completely different one from this two. This one is obviously black as you can see, but the blazer is like a fitted blazer, like quite fitted in there. There you go. You can see even just in the shape like that. And these trousers are, I don't know what the name is of them, to be honest. But anyway, they're like kind of straight-ish suit trousers like this one, I'm thinking. So let's give them a try. So for this one, I thought I would go full monochromatic, like full black and try on the little turtleneck that I also ordered. This was literally like the cheapest t-shirt or like the cheapest kind of, yeah, long sleeve t-shirt that I've ordered. It was like nine pounds or something ridiculous. Um, so it is a good option if you want like a little turtleneck that is like super cheap. It's very flexible. I'm not sure about, let me see, neck wise, how it's gonna look, but I mean, it's good if you have a long neck, if you have a short neck, it has a very long type thingy here. But look, and it doesn't it doesn't seem to go very like transparent, which is really nice. And it's not super long also. Like it's very good for like trousers. Okay, these trousers, they're kind of mid-waist by the way. They're not high waist, which I always find mid-waist to be a little bit weird. Cause it just sits in like the wrong place. It just makes you look like, mm -mm. I mean, mid-waist and short, short, short waist, low waist is not. It's normally not my thing, so these trousers are not winning because of this already. But let's give the blazer a chance. What even this blazer? What do you guys think? Oh my god, I am loving this look. It's like a total Steve Jobs look. It's so nice. Oh my god. Again, I'm not convinced about the, the length of the trousers, but this blazer, what even? 
like let me close it so you can see it here oh it's like made for me this is such a crazy blazer okay i'm gonna turn around so you can see it has this like weird seams in here that obviously make it like tight around the waist but ah i am loving this look what do we think i think this is the winning look and with this uh with this turtleneck situation going on it looks so elegant i mean with the flats obviously it's like a, for a day-to-day -day type of look i'm gonna wear it with the heels so you can see how it looks like a little bit more elevated and a little bit more formal oh my god i look like like I'm a lady boss. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm loving this. It looks so cool. I would definitely get some other trousers so that it's not like mid waist. But overall, I think I am definitely keeping this jacket. What, what I recommend you do, guys, if you're going to keep like one piece from a suit instead of keeping both pieces because you don't like the trousers or something, um, what I would normally do is try and compare the fabric to the trousers that you already have. So for example, I have some black trousers from Zara, but they might be a really similar tone and a really similar fabric. So if they are, I can keep this and actually kind of make my own suit, which is perfect, it's the best of both worlds because you can pick and choose what you want. But I, what I would say with black mostly is be very careful of the tones because you don't want to be wearing a jacket that is a certain tone of black and then the trousers that are another tone of black because it just looks very odd like for that just wear a different color trousers and it will look so much better so be careful with your blacks but always compare fabrics and you know you can build your own your own little suits okay and last but not least i'm gonna switch it up into more of a weekend type vibe with this i think these are the high waist oh yeah they're high waist wide full length oh my god that's so many words full length jeans from H&M. This is like their kind of mid wash color. Um, and then this is a little like turtleneck, high neck sweater. It's a little bit cropped and a little bit oversized. Let's give these two a try because I think they're gonna look really, really nice together. Okay, bear in mind people that I ordered these jeans in a size too small. It was a mistake. Um, Cause I went to H&M the other day and tried some of their straight jeans and I was a 34 instead of a 36, which I was surprised about because I'm never at 34 um, but yeah I can definitely not not sit very comfortably in these I like their wide leg but I also love that they're not super wide from like the beginning and the 36 might look a little bit different but again my legs won't be so tight in them which is also not a problem but they are not like wide from the start which I love I don't love super super baggy stuff and then what about the sweater what do we think guys I'm gonna do a little turn what do we think do we like it i know it's quite like high neck but i think for the winter i think first of all for the price the like the the texture and how it feels the feel looks really nice it doesn't look like an h&m sweater sometimes you, you know how like um kind of you know high street type fashion like h&m zara mango sometimes their sweaters just look like the the knit looks a little bit a little bit cheap um this one doesn't actually i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it here like the actual knit but it's not like shiny it's not very like you know when it like normally like comes out the knit a little bit it's not like that it's very actually looks very nice it looks like if it was a more expensive brand so you know i'm into it the neck i don't know let me know in the comments what you think about the neck because I'm still doubting it mostly because of the neck. I think this is actually a really cool outfit for the winter and for the autumn. Like I feel like such a I feel like such an influencer. Feeling wise, I'm gonna try and get close here. They're like really good quality jean, or at least it looks like it's really good quality jean. So feel is fantastic and they do make me look a very nice and very trendy okay my lovelies that was it for the haul i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was useful so that you don't waste your money ordering a bunch of stuff and then not liking it i hope it was nice i 
you know, fabric wise, I am quite impressed with H&M lately because they have kind of upped their game a little bit. They used to be, everything used to look a little bit cheap, but I feel like right now their things look better than mango. For example, like with the mango haul that I did a couple of weeks ago, it looks so much more expensive and for the price it's so much cheaper than brands like mango they're kind of samey with zara but even cheaper so if you find key pieces like this ones that you can just buy and they're going to be staple pieces for your wardrobe i think it's worth the investment but yeah thank you so much for watching guys don't forget again to subscribe and give us a like in the video if you enjoyed it let me know what other brands you want me to try on anything else that you want to know about I'm here for you, I'm here to help, and this literally fills my life with joys. I will see you in the next one. Couple of, couple of little, like, what? Forgot to hang my, my turtleneck. Ooh. And there we go. Actually, let me go get some heels so we can see how it looks. No, let's not fall in front of everyone here. It'd be embarrassing. See here. The, oh, what's happening to the light? A pair of jeans and, you know, I want to show you. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to do this whole green thing again.